All right, episode 89 of the Daily Bespoke Edge. We are in a very different environment from my typical studio. And we are at Fawn's Leap in Boulder. This is Tara, the owner. Hello. And a very common question we know from a lot of our grooms is how to pin a boutonniere. And so I thought, let's go to the source and figure out just that. All right, so your floor should always include two pins on the stem of your boutonniere. So you take the pins off. And you're always going to pin over the heart, so in case you're confused when you're trying to pin it on, you're going to go right here. I like to have the stem of the boutonniere just slightly below the line of the pocket. So I'm going to hold it. And we're going to start from behind. And we're going to do fabric, and then catch the ribbon, and then back through the fabric. So fabric, catch the ribbon, and then back through the fabric. And so you really shouldn't be able to see the pin at all. And then I always do a second one just parallel. So I'm just going to go in right next to this in the back. I'm going to get the fabric, catch the ribbon, and then back to the fabric. And then you're all set. That's how to pin a boutonniere. Voila. So then is there anything we should keep in mind about if it moves around or if I take my jacket off? Um, if it's pinned properly, it shouldn't move. That's why I like two pins to keep it stable. Um, and if your florist has done their job well, it should be taped and wired and hug and party proof. So okay. not to worry. All right. Sounds easy. All right. There you go, guys. Uh, any questions? Comments below? Otherwise, uh, we'll have all the information about um, Tara's shop in the description. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, if you are missing out, we have episode 90 tomorrow. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you.